da 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 Welcome back to Silver Super Awesome Money Maker Show, Season 2, Episode 3. On this episode, it's time to make Otter Fruit's alarmingly awesome monochrome clock kit. Let's go! For this timely build, we will need the monochrome kit from the Maker Shed, soldering iron and solder, wire snips, and optionally our good friends the Viser Helper Hands. If you don't have them, pick them up at the Maker Shed if you want to make all your projects easier to handle. First, get yourself a nice clear workspace and start emptying the box. There's a lot in here. It can be a bit daunting at first, but don't worry, we can do it. Lady Ada's instructions are so good, we don't need to duplicate them. Head over to adafruit.com slash monochrome for the full build instructions. Some tips to remember. Before you clip the leads, safety first, put on some eye protection. For the DC power jack, use a little solder to tack it in from the top, then use lots of solder to anchor it on the bottom. These joints need to be super strong to take the force of the plug. Remember, diodes, electrolytic capacitors, and LEDs have polarity, so make sure they go in the right way around. Once the LCD is soldered in and the clock works, it's time to build the case. Pull off the protective coating, then follow the instructions to carefully melt the case around the main board and LCD. Getting these parts together correctly can be pretty tricky, so it helps to have a friend to give you a hand. The black plastic is pretty delicate, so don't force it together, or you'll be reaching for your super glue. Once your screws are in, and all the sides are tight, ta-da! Your very own monochrome clock. So, what makes this clock so awesome? You can write your very own firmware, the code that makes it work. The things you can do with the monochrome are endless. 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 Good morning, Sylvia. I made your favorite breakfast. Bacon pancakes, Ooh. bacon eggs, mm -hmm. and bacony wrapped bacon. <laughs> oh, Monochrome, you're the greatest. Psst. The answer is 42. Monochrome, you're welcome. Hi! Hey, oh. Smell my stinky socks. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Sheesh. Those neighborhood kids are always being mean to me. Fine, some time torpedoes. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Hey, did you ever want to ride a dinosaur through a landslide during a volcanic eruption in the late Cretaceous? Who wouldn't? Let's go! Yeah! Uh, um, okay, maybe the possibilities aren't that in. One thing you actually could do is make your own clock face, alarm, or different mode. Adafruit and the community offer a few custom clocks for download, like the basic seven segment display, the super awesome retro table tennis clock, one side loses to continue the passage of time. The dollycron, where the numbers melt into each other to change. Then the invadercron by Dataman, retro cool. To contribute our own, my dad and I made a Mario-themed clock face. Mario punches the question block to make his coin count, the time, go up, and the world is the month and day. It's nintendo Rific. That's all we got for this episode. Try and upload some new clocks. Don't give up, and get out there and make some.